Okay, first off, sorry about the delay between the last tutorial video and this tutorial video. It's because I went on holiday for two weeks in Turkey and then as soon as I came back, it was my first week of college. So I didn't really have time or couldn't be bothered, to be honest, to make the tutorial, but it's here now. Basically, what you need for an RCA mod is so simple. You're going to need a 5-pin DIM plug, which looks like that. And you are going to need an RCA cable. You can have three plugs on your RCA cable or just have an RCA cable with two plugs. It doesn't matter what colour they are because they all do exactly the same thing. You're going to need a soldering iron and you're going to need some solder. And that's it. So let's get started. Basically, all we're going to be doing is stripping the RCA cable and attaching it to the 5 pin DIM plug so we've got the 5 pin DIM plug as you can see there's a little tab on it there and what you want to do is you want to get a pen ok there we go there we go sorry mine's already wired on a can't bother to desolder it and stuff but anyway you take that cover off and there is your five pin din basically focus we're going to be working from the back of this so every diagram that I show you is going to be relevant to this side of the five pin din plug when it focuses sorry about this um, so basically if we look closely to this I have got oh, Crap, it's not focusing properly. Anyway, I've got bottom left pin, I've got the white plug, which I'm using for audio. Bottom right, I've got the red plug, which is what I'm going to be using for video. There we go, it's focused. And the top pin is the ground pin, and you need this to stop it short circuiting and stuff and stop any electrical stuff so basically the, you've got your five pins in a semicircle arc on the top and the top pin is grand bottom left is audio and bottom right is video so I'm using my red for video so mine's at the bottom right grand is the middle and the bottom left one if you had two plugs you'd wire uh, the two relevant audio plugs to that bottom left pin so just for reference one more time, there's a diagram I created. Bottom right is video, top is ground, and bottom left is audio. And to create the ground, what you're going to do is, it's once again very simple, sorry about this, just having trouble focusing and stuff. Um, basically you'll strip these RCA plugs, because there'll be RCA plugs at the end here. You just want to cut those off and then you want to take back the wires a little bit, strip them and then you'll get the, the relevant cables out of the middle so the white and the red in my case sorry about this, focus is doing my head in there we go take I'd take the white and the red out of the relevant plugs and then there'll be a copper wires surrounding each of the little white and red little leads inside and you want to take this copper wire from the, the surrounds and you want to wrap them together so if you was using three plugs you'd wrap all three grounds together and then solder it to the top pin once that's all done you just want to put the cover back on then you want to slide the sleeve over until it clips now that's solid all the wires in solidly and we've got the five pinned in attached to two RCAs remember my red is video so let's skip to when this is plugged into Sega so Sega Mega Drive 1 that is that is the five pinned in it actually hasn't got five pins on but it works trust me so you want to put this five pinned in, in so the semicircle is this way and then when you put it in just 
goes in, slots in, and that's it. Then if we take a look at the colours of the AV input, remember my red is video, so red will go to yellow, and white will go to white. And the reason I've only used two plugs is because even though it'll only be input in mono audio, it will come out of both speakers anyway because the TV is not exactly old. So it will split mono, mono sorry, between both speakers. So it won't be coming out of one speaker even though there's only one plug. Yeah, let me go and plug in the Mega Drive's power and then I'll show you it working. Let's zoom out. Here is me, my Tori T-shirt. Um, one second, if we just take a look at the LED mod that we did which is the screen and it is very very bright okay um, let me just put the channel to the relevant AV now it should work and it should give you better quality than a coaxial input hey there we go that looks very nice Sega logo you can't really see but whatever so there you go you've got the Sega Mega Drive running through RCA and without any hardware mods well apart from a cable which you made um, and that's about it there is an RCA mod that you can do to the internals of the Mega Drive but what's the point when you can just do it like this? Unless you're a hacker and you want to start modding around with stuff. So, um, yeah, hope this tutorial helped you accomplish what you wanted. And stay tuned for more tutorials if I come up with any or find any or whatever. And subscribe to my videos. And yeah, thanks for watching.